Hello there and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel and all you need to know about clinical research. My name is Carol Lazovic and today we'll look at how to choose the right CRO for your clinical trial related activities. More after the break. According to ICA GCP, a sponsor may transfer any or all of the sponsor's trial related duties and functions to a CRO but the ultimate responsibility for the quality and integrity of the trial data always resides with the sponsor. Any trial-related duty and functions transferred to a CRO should be specified in writing, and functions not transferred to a CRO will be retained by the sponsor. Let's look at some of the trial-related duty sponsors often transfer to CROs. One, quality management, quality assurance, and quality control. This includes implementing and maintaining quality assurance and quality control systems with written SOPs to ensure that trials are conducted and data are generated, documented and reported in compliance with the protocol, GCP and applicable regulatory requirements. Trial documents such as protocols, case report forms and other operational documents should be clear, concise and consistent. 2. Medical expertise. The sponsor is always required to designate appropriate qualified medical personnel readily available. And three, all stages of the trial process like trial design, data collection and management, safety reporting, record keeping, selecting investigators and sites qualified by training and experience and have adequate resources, also provide a compensation to subjects and investigators, etc. Four, regulatory aspects of the trial including submissions, notifications, preparations and submissions of dossiers. Five, information on investigational product that is from manufacturing, packaging, labeling and coding, supply and handling. Six, record keeping and providing direct access to source data, documents for audits and regulatory inspections. 7. Monitoring, including selecting the right monitors who are qualified, trained and have scientific or clinical knowledge. Also determining the appropriate extent and nature of monitoring, laying monitoring procedures and monitoring plan. 8. Preparation and provision of the clinical study data, trial reports to the regulatory agencies as required by the applicable regulatory requirement. As you can see, Clinical trials involve complex, overlapping processes, many of which require specialized expertise and experience, and that's where a CRO comes in. Don't search for a CRO that only has expertise with your product and investigational indication, because guess what? As a manufacturer, you are the expert of your product. Hence, rather search for a CRO that has the knowledge you miss or choose them because they offer tasks you cannot or don't want to do. CROs range in sizes from small organizations to large global CROs. The level of support needed depends on the sponsor. The trial-related duties are often offered by CROs in form of services. Therefore, as a sponsor, you may want to handle most or all of the tasks we mentioned, which is fine, provided you have all the resources, manpower, expertise and experience needed. But remember that even a small glitch in your process may put your trial at extremely huge risk, not only financially, but also for all parties involved, hence tread carefully when you choose to handle most tasks without the required experience. If unsure whether you have enough experience, ask the CRO if they offer consultancy as they can then support you if needed. As a sponsor, if you do not have the resources, expertise in running clinical trials, meeting all requirements according to ICGCP and regulatory requirements, working with a CRO can be a cost-effective way of ensuring the expertise and experience needed, as opposed to singly outsourcing everything separately, especially if you find a good full-service CRO. Full service means the CRO is able to manage your entire study themselves in-house from setting up, managing and closing the clinical trial. Alternatively, small to mid-sized CROs like us offer the flexibility of choosing full service model or functional service model, that's also called FSP model, which allows sponsors to select single service as they need. Therefore, before you select a CRO, you might want to check they meet your checklist. Some key points you may want to check are, do they have the right experience in-house to handle your trial? Or will they be outsourcing most of the services? Do they fit in your budget to obtain quality services? 
Do they have access to sites or even patients? Also, how accessible are their communication lines? Are you able to discuss project-related issues freely and are they solutions-driven? How transparent are they? Do you share the same values or will the project mainly be a war of opinions? Do their vision, mission and objectives match with those of your own? Are they consistent? High turnover and change of staff may impact ongoing projects. Do they have options to select from, for example with their EDCs, do their options align well with your team? How are their payments plans? Are they flexible enough to work out a payment plan that suits and how do they handle contract amendments? What are their legal requirements? I hope with these on your checklist, you can ask the right questions during your negotiations. With these in mind, taking into account the needs of your trial and narrowing your selection based on your checklist, rather than only paying attention to the budget offer by going with the cheapest CRO. More often, paying a little more for your service, quality and experience may just save your clinical trial. Thanks for your attention. Let's catch up next time with more topics on how to for your clinical studies. Until next time, goodbye.